Colm Hayden of Aneco, thanks very much indeed for taking the time to have a chat. Uh, perhaps you could tell us a little bit more about Aneco or the company and, and specifically your Agile Data Integration solution. Yes, uh, Aneco was formed specifically to address the problems of managing data. And we looked at all of the traditional middleware based approaches to data integration and found they had a common flaw, namely that they relied upon a single version of the truth. And this made them slow uh, to implement and inflexible and brittle over the long term. Mm -hmm. So we pioneered an approach known as the, uh, a, an agile data integration where we apply agile software development principles of uh, delivering systems early and often with frequent checkpoints and frequent milestones and an ability to change. And we apply that to data integration where we use a short, timely methodology and underpinning that is our Aneco Data Agility Server, uh, a technology platform that we've developed to provide a real-time unified access to underlying data sources. Yeah, and so presumably this means that it's particularly applicable to the development of sort of distributed enterprise applications? Absolutely, it, it enables heterogeneous data stores to be combined quickly and easily uh, to take uh, different views and different perspectives onto that data and to enable applications such as real-time business intelligence, uh, customer internets, uh, or any other application that needs a consolidated view of that program. Okay, so in the, in the Web2 world, this is kind of referred to as a mashup, but this is kind of taken to the next stage of Enterprise2 and doing big mashups, big, more difficult ones? Yes, it is essentially a data mashup, but we developed the technology with highly available carrier grade uh, characteristics in mind, where we were to apply this technology in the mobile space for things like mobile advertising. Mm -hmm. But the technology is equally applicable in the enterprise domain because in every case there is a need to bring together lots of different types of data systems and to enable a flexible approach to transform, merge and match that information. I presume therefore that you know, one of the themes on, on this side is the whole idea of open in innovation. So I presume that given that approach, it, it's relatively easy for you to you know, em embrace the, the, the services provided by others and, and indeed other technology platforms? Yes, uh, we have been involved in Aneco with a number of initiatives where we brought together lots of uh, category leading software vendors into an end-to-end -end solution. And within this data integration framework, uh, we use our technology to apply uh, in real time uh, transformations between the different systems and this enabled and facilitated a lot of cooperation and innovation between the companies as they were more easily able to understand each other's domains and to uh, mash their data together. Yeah, and and in sp specifically, you, 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 you've done quite a lot in the mobile space, isn't that correct? That's that correct. is kind of that your heritage? Yes, the, the company was founded with a, a pedigree and a track record of the mobile space and we had intended initially to focus our technology on delivering a single view of subscriber or a single view of, uh, of the business for mobile operators to enable things like mobile advertising and personalized services. So we have that strong pedigree, but now our data integration skills are equally applicable in uh, other domains like financial services and the public sector. Yeah, well, they say, that, of course, when you prove your technology with carrier grade you know, uh, telephony players, you, you're pretty much done it all and seen it all. Uh, that's correct. That's correct. So we looked to take the nice uh, enterprise technologies and web friendly uh, interfaces and use them in a highly available carrier great environment. Okay, Colin Hayden, thanks very much indeed. Thank you.